Hi, this is Kate from Isilicious Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make the little mushroom from the Mario, uh, Super Mario games uh, as a pencil topper. So, uh, or if you don't want him as a pencil topper, he can just sort of sit around like mushrooms do. So, we will get started. We're going to need a single loom and you're going to need three colours. You're going to need red, white, a tan colour and you're going to need two little black seed beads, or not seed beads, I'm sorry, they're mini pony beads um, for the eyes. If you don't have those you can use bands, that would work too, but uh, I'm going to use the beads. So we'll get started and we're going to be using the back of our rainbow loom hook to move our bases. I'm going to do this on a single loom. If you have more than one loom then you would just be able to lay the whole pattern out uh, in one hit but uh, I'm going to presume that we have only a single loom and we will learn how to do it on one of those. So what we're going to do is you're going to have six, five, I'm sorry, five pair down here. Okay, so we'll start with red. The loom is going to be in a standard configuration. All columns are going to be the same height. The arrow is paint, pointed towards you and you're going to be double banding. So take two bands, place them on the peg together as if they were one. Okay, and we're going to do that five times. And the end of each row, column, I'm sorry, you're going to have an end cap, which is a single band that you put your hook through, wrap once and twice. And you'll place that on the end of that column. Okay, so we're going to do our next column. And we're going to make a bit of a pattern with this because the little mushrooms have white spots on them. And while it's not very easy to do spots, we are going to make an effort. And I have to say, doing them on a full set of loom, extended looms, I was able to do better spots. But on a single loom, that was a little bit tricky. So we're going to use another red end cap because our last band here is red. Okay, and now we'll do our third column. We're going to do 10 columns in total, just so that you are aware of that. So we have one white here, and then we have three white here, so there's going to be another white one over here. I'm going to finish on red, so I'm going to use a red end cap. I'm going to take a single band and I'm going to stretch it across all of these pegs like this as my crossover band. Now I'm going to dig down under that peg, under the end cap, sorry, and I'm going to loop up. And we're only going to loop up the first two columns. Push the end cap out the way with the back of your hook. And the same with the crossover bands. Push them back with the back of your hook so you can expose those two bottom bands. Now when we get to here, we need a holding hook to hold this first column that we've done on. I'm going to take that off like that. Turn your loom upside down and use the removal tool to budge these base plates over to the right one space so that you can now take this column off and move it to become column number four. So let's place the bands for column number four. So we want one pair of red 
and two pair of red. Now we had white and then three white, so we need another white here. We're finishing on red, so we're going to finish with a red end cap and place that there. Move these crossover bands over to incorporate column number four and then we will loop up column number three. Now the reason that I haven't done this on the, the monster tail or by taking out the middle row uh, column, I'm sorry, of my rainbow loom like this and using pegs here to make this is because it's very difficult to get the colours that you need to, to, uh, to stay in place while doing that. They overlap and I didn't want that so this was the easiest way for me to be able to do that. I'm now going to, I've looped up the middle row column. It's late. <laughs> I'm going to take this base plate off and move it forward so that I have another area here so that when I take this off the loom, which I'm going to do now, I can take this column off and that now becomes column number five. So let's place our bands for column number five. Now I'm going to put a white band here. So because I'm finishing with a pair of white there, I'm going to actually use an end cap of white. Okay. I'm going to pull these over to incorporate column 5 and then I'm going to dig down and find those two bands and loop up. Now we can take column 3 off the loom. Turn our loom upside down and move these bases. Every time I say that I just want to come out with all your base are belong to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> just I've held that back for so long. All right, move the column to the new column and we would be doing red. Two red two red and another two red now we're going to do some white because we finished on white we're going to use an end cap of white and place that there now I'm going to use this was column five and usually the crossover bands only go between five to six um, columns so because we're doing another five I'm going to use new crossover bands here so just place a new single band across those areas now we can dig down find those white bands and loop up and loop up And now we take this column off. So spread them out nicely so they're not twisted. Turn this over and move it forward. This now becomes column seven and it's going to be the same as the fifth column and 
and finish on a white. So you use a white as your end cap and drag the crossover bands over like that. Dig down. off. This is five that we're taking off and now we can move this over and do number eight. start with red and then I'm going to do two white. Because I'm finishing on a red, my end cap will be red. Draw these over and pull that end cap out the way to grab those two white bands and pull up. Loop these all the way to the top like that and now we're ready to take this one off our loom. Turn this upside down and we move this forward to take this column, which is going to be nine. And because we have the white here, we're going to do three white. Two red and there's our second one. We're going to finish with a red end cap. Pull these across. Dig down. This one off the loom. Move our bases for the last time. And our last column shift. We start with a red and then a white and then red. And an end cap in red. Now we drag these crossover bands over and we can loop up both of these columns because we're at the end now of this. Hold that end cap in place and we will take all of these So there we have, this is our little, the little hat for our mushroom. I'm going to take two red bands and we're going to slide all of these, let me move this loom out of the way, we're going to slide these 
over. If I can do that without slicing my fingers off on this particular hook. Yeah, you guessed it, it's the hook I hate. <laughs> good for taking things off the loom but that's about it. I use the back side of it. Okay, oh there's a straggler. Come on you, up and over. There we are. Reclaim the end of your bands onto your hook and you're going to take the side nearest to you up, over and off and pull tight, okay? And we do need to pull tight because we need to, you guessed it, my favorite thing of all, we need to tie a knot. And I'm going to push my hook under here, grab those bands like that, pull them through and over, and try with all my might <laughs> to not mess this up. Those are the two little bands I want to get off. Come on, you. There we go. There we are. So I've tied that in a knot, okay? Now we're going to collect all the end caps. It's as if we were doing um, a ball. We're going to collect all the end caps. So this should be three bands for each one. So there's three there, three there, three there, three there. Okay, so we've collected all of those up. Now we're going to take another two red bands and we're going to do the same thing. But this time I don't have a hook that's going to rip my fingers off. There we go. Pop that on the end and I'm going to take the ones closest to me up, over and off and pull tight. Okay, so this is forming the little hat. Now you got it, I've got to do another knot. Put my finger in here, take that, put it through, wrap it over. Oh, come on you. And they're the two little bands that I want to grab. I'm going to use another hook for this, see if I can do it quickly. You little beauty. There we go. Lovely. So these are my two little um, loops that I have left. And they will just get tucked inside. So I don't really need to worry about them too much. They'll end up up the top here. Up in there. But now what we're going to do is make the base of our little mushroom and that's what it's going to look like that's how it attaches to its little hat okay so this is the same as how we did the minion finger puppet let me tidy myself up here a bit so the only colors we're going to need are the tan and the eyes So we have tan bands and you're going to start, we're going to be using six pegs. The first one you're going to figure eight, loop it on itself and do a figure eight actually on the, can you see there, like that, okay, I'm going to do that for the first row. If you're using your monster tail to do this, just be aware we're using six pegs, not eight, and the monster tail has eight. 
So you need to leave the two end ones off. Okay, so that's my bottom row. Now I'm going to place my second row. It's just going to be tan bands. Like that, push everything down. Um, I had somebody tell me today that my hands got in the way. I'm really sorry about that. There's not much I can do. I can't loom without my hands. And the camera angle is terribly difficult to get so that you can all see. So sometimes my hands will get in the way. I do try and sort of stop so that you can see what I've done. But um, thanks for letting me know. It's certainly made me more conscious of it. Let's take the first four bands up and over. Now I say four because we looped it, we double looped it. So that's going to leave you with four bands on your, your uh, peg. You're really only moving two bands, but because we looped it on itself to make it tighter, it looks on the peg as if we had four. If you're in doubt, count how many you have here and then remove the remaining one up and over so you should have four bands left on the peg at the end of this and I promise that's the only difficult bit the rest is easy it's just the bottom two bands up and over up and over <laughs> So here we go. So now that we've done that, that was three rows. Let's do row four. And we'll loop that over. everything down now this is row five and we're going to put our eyes on this one so using my 2.75 hook I'm going to thread these eyes onto a tan band each you can use a metal threader. I've got a tutorial on how you can make one of those from a twisty tie. You can use dental floss. You can just poke them through by squidging them down and sliding them through, however you like to do it. But one is going to go there. And the other is going to go there. Squidge is a technical term. I'll have you know. <laughs> okay, take the bottom two up and over. That was five. Let's do six. everything down. Seven.
then we're going to do the last one, number eight. Once you've looped those ones over, let's do the next two so that you're just left with two bands on each peg. Make sure you push everything down, you don't want anything flying off and getting lost. Now, you're actually going to need red. And the reason I've chosen red to tie this off with when we do get round to tying it off is because then it will fit in with our cap nicely. So what we're going to do, I like to go at the back from where the eyes are. So the eyes are here at the front, so I'm going to start collecting my bands at the back here. Take them off the loom. Tricky. Let's see if I can marry that one back up. I think it's supposed to be at the front. I'm going to stretch it. There we go. Trying to escape me. <laughs> okay, let's stretch it all into shape a bit. The eyes are poking out. So, like I said, I'm going to use a red band. Actually, I'm going to use two red bands. And I'm going to thread these on. To the red band. <laughs> Collect those, the two closest to you up, over and off, and you're going to pull so it's nice and tight. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is turn this inside out. We need to collect these into the middle. So I'm going to take another, I'm going to take this off, I'm going to take my little mushroom stalk off. <laughs> I'm going to loop my band like that. Place my hook through the two loops here. Slide on, reclaim, and tie in a knot like that. Okay, take that off, grab these two from this side. And again, I'm going to actually catch a couple of bands in the middle here to stop that from sliding backwards like it wants to. Connect those up here like so. Okay, now what I can do here is go under another couple of bands, probably the same ones. Oops. Don't lose it, Kate. <laughs> and I did. I was trying to be clever. Let's try that again. Go under these two in the middle. Drag with me. There we go. Grab these two. And pull over so they're all in the middle there. Now I'm going to go under there and grab those you know what I'm doing don't you? I'm tying a knot. <laughs> Whenever you can see me struggling you know that I'm, I'm tying a knot. Okay, so tie a knot, which, however you can, but we're tying a knot here. There we go. Yay! <laughs> Goodness gracious, what a palaver all to tie a knot.
here's our little bands here. Take your little mushroom stalk and thread those through, splay them out and pop over like that. Now if you think that's going to be too loose and dangly what you can do is make it tighter and the way to do that, leave him there, is as we tied this off we pulled it tight with two bands So what you would do is instead of tying it off, come here. Up and over, splay it out and pop that over like that and that makes it a little shorter flip this around the other way and pop his hat on like so grab your pencil and there you have a little mushroom from Mario Brothers and it's quite secure I mean it's not gonna fall off you might have to push it down a few times <laughs> but there he is hope you enjoy making him take care